Good day, good day, royal fans. Today's headline. Blow for Prince Harry as Princess Anne to replace Duke in key royal marines role. The Queen's daughter will make military history by becoming the first woman to head the royal marines. Nephew Harry was stripped of the prestigious post after he married Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, and moved to the United States. The Princess Royal now holds the honorary title of Admiral in the Royal Navy. It is understood that her new job will be announced in August after official endorsement by the monarch. The royal family has undergone a number of changes over the last few years, with Prince Harry and his uncle, Prince Andrew, seeing all their honorary military titles removed. Prince Charles has also assumed a leading role as the Queen, who celebrated her 96th birthday on Thursday, cuts back on public appearances. A number of new military appointments are due to be announced by Buckingham Palace, including Princesses Anne, heading the Marines and potentially at least two new army roles. Regiments including the Marines, Grandier Guards, Irish Rangers and Yorkshire Regiment have been left without an honorary head after Harry and Andrew were removed from their roles. Anne is known for undertaking a number of public engagements. She already heads 10 regiments, including Colonel-in-Chief of the King's Royal Hussars, the Royal Scots, the Gurkhas, and the Royal Army Veteran Corps. Princess Anne is also married to Naval Officer Vice Admiral Sir Tim Lawrence. As Captain General of the Royal Marines, Anne will be expecting to visit new recruits in training, attend events, and join commandos in the field. It is understood that Prince William was in the running for the role, but Royal Aids limited his workload in light of the Queen handing over duties to Prince Charles. A senior Royal Marine source revealed that the corps would be delighted if the Princess Royal became the next Captain General. He said, Princess Anne has a long tradition of working with the Royal Navy and would be a perfect fit for the role. Harry was only with us for a short time and we gave him his Green Beret which concerned some people, and then he had to stand back from public life. More Royal News done and dusted. Thank you guys for watching and all your ongoing support. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And goodbye for now.